Hello, my name is Pooja. Welcome to another episode of Around the World. It is said that the number game is very important in a democracy. We get to see the same in Indian democracy as well. Political parties play manipulations to garner the required numbers to form the government. Sometimes two such parties ally that the people get surprised. The same thing happened in the neighboring country, Nepal. The number game has changed the equation of politics in Nepal. When elections were held in Nepal, then we informed you that the ruling party, that is Nepali Congress, could again return to power in Nepal. But the Communist Party of Nepal changed the game with its unexpected move. Now Pushpa Kumar Nehal Prachand and KP Sharma Oli have come to power and Sher Bahadur Deoba has lost power. This equation of Nepal's politics is cardinal not only for Nepal but also for India. As Sher Bahadur Deoba, who is considered to be pro-India, is out of the government and Oli and Prachanda have come to power. In today's episode, we'll talk about the recent political development of Nepal. We will try to understand the equation of Nepal's politics. We will also try to gauge the impact of this new political scenario on Indo-Nepal relations. Let's first of all know about Nepal's politics in brief. The House of Representatives of Nepal, which is similar to the Lok Sabha in India, has a total of 275 seats. 138 seats are needed for a majority in the House of Representatives. In the recently held elections, Sher Bahadur Deoba's Nepali Congress emerged as the largest party by winning 89 seats. KP Sharma Oli's Communist Party of Nepal, unified Marxist-Leninist, emerged as the second largest party by winning 78 seats. And Prachanda's Communist Party of Nepal, Maoist Center, has won 32 seats. Till the election's results, it was in the news that Pushpa Kumar Dehel Prachand is going to support Sher Bahadur Deoba. But a few days after the result, Prachanda started laying claim to the post of Prime Minister. For this purpose, he started putting pressure on Sher Bahadur Deoba for support. But Nepali Congress President Sher Bahadur Deoba refused to support Prachanda for the post of the Prime Minister and the talks between the two parties ended. Then KP Sharma Oli entered the number game. Despite being the second largest party, Oli supported Prachanda for the post of Prime Minister. The alliance also has the support of other smaller parties. An agreement has been reached that Prachanda will become the Prime Minister for the first two and a half years and Oli will become the Prime Minister for the next two and a half years. Although till now it was speculated that Sher Bahadur Deoba will become the Prime Minister of Nepal, but Prachanda became the Prime Minister of Nepal and thereafter various speculations and rife. These speculations are specially regarding Indo-Nepal relations. India is more comfortable with Deoba than it is with KP Sharma Oli. However, many apprehensions are being expressed about whether India's relations with Nepal will be the same during Prachanda's tenure as they used to be during Deoba's tenure. Actually, Pushpa Kumar Prachanda has not become the Prime Minister of Nepal for the first time. Before this, he served as the Prime Minister of Nepal twice. When Prachanda became the Prime Minister for the first time in 2008, he made his first foreign visit to China. Whereas, till now, there was a tradition in Nepal that after taking the oath, the Prime Minister of Nepal used to make his first visit to India. However, Prachanda broke this tradition. He made his first visit to China instead of India. However, when he became the Prime Minister for the second time, then he made his first visit to India. But what he did when he became the Prime Minister for the first time, established his closeness to China. Prachanda visited India early last year. During this visit, he met many senior leaders. But Prime Minister Narendra Modi did not give him time to meet, as India still doesn't trust Prachanda. On the other hand, Prachanda's party has an alliance with KP Sharma Oli's party, with whom India's experience has not been very good. During his tenure, Oli not only prioritized China over India, but also claimed many areas of India such as Kalapani, Lipu Lake, etc. as a part of Nepal. At that time, Prachanda was in the government with Oli. In such a scenario, the question arises that whether Prachanda will prove to be another KP Sharma Oli for India. If you ask the same question to international affairs experts, then they will say that it is not so. There is no doubt that China's influence in Nepal has increased in recent years, but it is not the first time that Nepal has had close relations with China. Relations between China and Nepal have been better in the past as well. Nepal remained neutral 
during the Indochina War of 1962. However, India wanted Nepal to support India in this war. But Nepal refused to support any side in this war. Notably, both Prachanda and Oli belonged to the Communist Party and on the other hand, China is also ruled by the Communists. In such a scenario, relations between Nepal and China can improve at the ideological level, but China can never take India's place for Nepal. For instance, the relations between India and Nepal became normal as soon as Oli was ousted from power as there are cultural and linguistic similarities between the two countries. The geographical location of both is such that one country cannot keep itself separate from the other. Experts hold that Pushpa Kumar Prachanda has changed a lot lately and his thinking about India has changed drastically. Therefore, it is expected that the new government of Nepal will prefer establishing cooperation with India rather than creating any new dispute with India. From India's point of view, a cordial relationship between the two countries is extremely cardinal due to the tense relations between India and China for the last several years. Therefore, it is expected that Prachanda will forget the old bitterness and adopt a cooperative approach. That's all in this episode. Let's note down the question based on today's story. What will be the impact of the change of power in Nepal on Indo-Nepal relations? Evaluate.